guys when I tell you I was smiling throughout this whole watching this whole episode and grinning like I'm not lying I know you guys can't tell by my voice but I was very happy and excited when the episode was finally came out and also throughout the episode I laughed uh, like many people do uh, I'm glad the comedic relief you know, just came in um, that you, that love is war usually has so I'm not surprised uh, by that um, you know, I just laughed from you know the whole situation with Shigami and Inu and her sounds to you know I, I um the line problem that Kaguya had that you know apparently she the reader gets receipts that you know that Kaguya read and you know basically Hayasaka didn't tell her this whole time that you know that's how line works you get a receipt that tells you people uh read and they left you on red or not or something to lastly the the whole arm wrestling thing that um chica pretty much um did with Ish just to prove ishigami that you know she's actually you know stronger than she looks and you know at the end of that match um you know ishigami kind of just beat chica in the arm wrestling match so but Throughout this whole episode, I want you guys to understand that there was comedic relief in these scenes that I talked about or throughout the whole episode. So it wasn't just one scene, it was the whole episode that it was hilarious to me. And there's one scene that I actually want to talk about and that's um the first scene where, you know, you know you know has you know this thing she she thinks she has their headphones plugged in but she's not so you know everyone that's in the room currently Ishigami uh she can hear what you know Inu is kind of listening to and that's kind of embarrassing especially for a girl to have everyone listen to what you're listening to and it's even more embarrassing if it's not like something that's popular that other people know and so I kind of relate with her, but then, um, you know, as usual, Ishigami just uses himself as the scapegoat. So he does, you know, the same thing in order to prevent the other people in the room from knowing, you know, Inu, Inu's uh, music. But ultimately, you know, she doesn't pick up on that and she does anyways. And she ends up kind of embarrassing herself, and it was just funny. But um, what I kind of want to focus on was in the beginning when Inu came, and they were like they were very mean to each other, her and Ishigami. And so usually, what happens, I think, you know, when especially, I think you guys can relate that when you guys are little and you guys find someone that you like, you um. You purposefully, like, you know, insult them or something in order to try to get their attention to you. And that's, like, I think that's what's happening with Ishigami and Inu. Like, eventually in this season, they'll, you know, come together and they'll be a couple. But that's, you know, later on in the, um, in the season. But overall, I am happy. Um, I'm curious as to, you know, how they'll integrate uh, these new characters that are supposed to, you know, be introduced. And, you know, just uh, the predicaments that um, Shogun and Kaguya pretty much bring themselves to in order for them to, you know, confess, uh, to make them confess their love to them. But I mean, I recommend that you watch this episode because it was hilarious. It was very funny. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, 
and comment if you guys want more. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.